Okay, just gonna go into my bag. Uh, grab this. Use uh this. And look who is evolving. Yeah, I've ultimately decided to do this. It's me, Mario! Hmm. Ah! Oh. episode, I beat Erica at her gym, I got the rainbow badge, and I got the HMO, I got HMO to fly, but I don't have a use for it yet, because I don't want to Pokemon, I can, like, I can use, like, wake up and stuff. Anyways, let's just use a Poke Flute. I forgot to mention, on this episode, we're gonna battle the Snorlax, and it could take a while, because it's Snorlax. Yeah. Say hi to Snorlax, one of the beefiest and kind of OP Pokemon back in the day. Oh, because of Hyper Beam and how stupid dangerous it was. Uh, yeah, I'm catching the Snorlax, not as a part of my team, of course not, but... Yeah. They're mostly because it's annoying and to try to use, um... Rest! Rest is an annoying move, especially when you're trying to catch the Snorlax. Um, oh, right, I forgot it holds a Chesto Berry every time you encounter one. And it knows Yawn. Oh, no. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna straight up attack it. Attack with Giga Drain. And, uh, yeah, see where that goes. That went somewhere. I also forgot Snorlax has stupidly high special defense. Stupidly high. Oh, well. Jules is asleep, what am I gonna do now? Gee, I wonder what I should do. And now Jules is awake. That's perfect. That's all I want. Although I do not like how, where that went. Uh, can I just put you to sleep again? Please? You're annoying to catch! By the way, you have, like, two chances to catch Snorlax. That's all you get, just two chances. You miss those two chances, then you're screwed. You're so incredibly screwed, unless you... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm straight up catching it. I don't care if I wasted all of my Great Balls. I really don't care. I just want this Snorlax captured. You know, I try putting it to sleep, I try to weaken it, it's not working out. And as soon as I said that, it worked out. Oh, flipping course. I'm not really surprised, but Snorlax are usually hard to catch, so I'm kind of surprised this one went with no problems. Weird. I'm so lazy with this name, but it's the only thing I can think of at this moment. I'm gonna call you Sleepy. Don't ask why. Alright, so that wasn't too terribly bad. The only one who's damaged is Jules, but I guess I could just continue on forward. I believe we can go up here, there's someone here. Aha, uh -huh, another one to aids, 40 species. How many do I have? Uh, do I? I caught only 29. Wow, I'm one away from third. Alright, fine. Uh, the amulet coin is actually kind of useful if you're looking to grind up some money. Uh, basically what the amulet coin does is that if you give it if you give it as a hold item to one of your Pokemon, and that Pokemon holding the amulet coin participates in battle, you will double your money that you win from that trainer. It's really good if you want to, like, grind up money. We're gonna ride together on new bikes! Oh, really, now? 
I'm on a relaxing ride, bike, bed, bed, bed. I'm on a relaxing ride with my bike with my girlfriend. Aren't you a little young to have a girlfriend? Not that it's any of my business, but let's see what I get. So the apartment store, okay. Well, this is that show. Long path over water, far away. Did I just say far away? I meant far away. What am I talking about? Okay, whatever. Uh, if you haven't picked up the bike from Celadon City, this guy will not let you through until you have that bike. So you, this is like the requirement. This is like the only place that requires you to have a bike. There's also trainers here who are bikers. Who are part of a biker gang. What's up, biker? Part of your hip club. You know what? I have Disco. It was a Nine Tails. What you gonna do? We can do squat. I know some of you are against my judgment of evolving Disco here, but I don't care. It's movesets I'm not really interested in. I believe the only other moves it can know as a Volpix is Safeguard, which is an okay move if you're thinking strategy-wise, but I'm not thinking strategy-wise, so screw it. And Fire Spin, which is a really, really weak fire-type move, but it works if you can, like, po punish people with it or something. Yeah, I have no interest with moves like that. Moves that hit, like, in every turn, I just don't see myself using those. And besides, if I... I have like another chance to decide if I want Fire Spin or not, because Ninetales can know it, but at a ridic ridiculously sort of late level, I think I'm like 49 it learns it, as of Ninetales, but it learns it earlier. Oh, also Grudge. Grudge is another thing Vulpix can know, and I don't see myself using that either, because... I mean, Grudge is useful, but I just don't see myself using it. I'll explain what it is. It's basically, um... Basically, if you use Grudge, uh, if you get KO'd that same turn, uh, the move, whatever move that Pokemon used to KO you is no longer useful. It depletes the power points to zero. That's that. Really, that's that. Honestly. Anyways, there are Pokemon you can find here, but only in this patch of grass. I think it's the same Pokemon you can find everywhere else, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Honestly, I really am not, but I am just gonna go down, probably fight some trainers as I go through. I'm not even moving the D-pad, by the way, uh, cause I don't need to. The, the cycling road is a hill. Oh, I know your problem, buddy. You need to train your Machoke to evolve it. Yeah, that's one of the painful things about Pokemon Evolution. You can train that Machoke all you, all you want, but... You need to train it to evolve it. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> it's kinda hard. Which is why I'm not going for evolutions in any of my Pokemon playthroughs. Or Let's Plays, for that matter. Unless they have bypass away to trade it. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I get pissed. So, are you gonna tell me why? That is true, but your Machoke doesn't need one. Just saying. I kind of just ran. I just kind of ran into that guy. I'm being a rebel, apparently. And they're all cue balls. Okay. You have a primate. I should be afraid, but I shouldn't. I should probably switch out Disco for someone else now. Uh, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I should do. No. Yeah, that's something I should. Do. Oh, seismic toss. That might hurt a little bit. Yeah, it didn't hurt a lot, but yeah, it hurt a little bit. Okay, that takes care of Primeape. And you have a Moth Choke. Uh, who should I send out? I'll send out Jules, and then I'll switch Lino to the front so I can start using him more, so I can train him up so I can be in the level 30 club. Um, yeah, Jules, just confuse that Moth Choke. Honestly, I thought they would have done more, but that's understandable. Slightly. I don't know. You're painfully average! Okay, that should be enough. That is enough! Yes! I'm so good at Pokemon. And Jules grew to level 33, which is nice. Okay, that takes care of you, Cory. Cory in the house. 
Oh, right, I said I was gonna switch out Lino. I better do that now before I forget. Okay, cool, now Lino's now in front of my party. There's a sign there. The only downside to cycling road is that you always go down, but when you go up, it's so slow. <laughs> don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. That's basically their way of saying, don't rage quit. Rage quitting is not cool. Also, as you mentioned, if you hold B while you're on cycling road, you can just, like, stop in place. That's, like, the only way. And now we're out of it. Now we are out of it. And before we go on, there's a thing here. Is there anyone in here? There's you. Well, let's see. Uh, there are people swimming. That's fine. What is this episode? Pal Jones in the last. Alright. I'm looking for a Pokemon Slowbro. Want to trade one for my Lick Tongue? No, because I don't have a Slowbro. I had in another game, but I can't bring him over here for reasons. Welcome to Fuchsia City, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Welcome to Fuchsia City. This is our next destination. Now I'm gonna heal up and be right back. Okay. So, here, there's something I wanna do in Fuchsia City first before we get on with the other side of... of... stuff. Uh... Free? Okay, buddy. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you. I did not understand you. Pokemon photos and puzzles are on display. Oh, Pokemon merchants is on display. We can't do anything about that because we need the HM for strength, which I believe we won't get until later. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. In this house, I believe it's this house. Talk to this guy here, and he will give you the good rod, which lets you actually catch other Pokemon besides Magikarp. It really is. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, thanks for explaining, Ruby guy. See? That guy knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. Alright, so, even more stuff here in the Safari Zone. You can actually look at Pokemon that, you can, that are over here and get them in your Pokedex. So you have, like, a general idea that Chansey is a jerk. Where you can find them and stuff. There's a Voltorb. What do you guys think, kid? That item ball in there. Were you wanting that? Me too! Oh, that's a Pokemon? Yeah, apparently Voltorbs get easily confused as Pokeballs. Who knew, right? Lapras, aka the King of the Seas. Okay. Ooh, Pokemart. I want to stop by. I want to stop by and see if I could get something. Oh, you sell Ultra Balls. Hex, yeah. Um, you're, although you're kind of expensive. I'll buy five of you for now. Just for now. But just for now. Okay. 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 All right. Let's see here. Oh my God! It's the Evil Deity Dome of Fossil Thingy. The Helix Fossil is in trouble. I must run. King's Consoles is kind of one of those Pokemon that annoy me. And we're actually going to do this real quick. This is Safari Zone. Pokemon you catch. Safari Zone is a fun little area that they sort of brought back in later generations, but don't really focus it on as much as they used to. Maybe because of the same things. Why it's slot machines that have been changed and stuff. I don't know. It just kind of makes me sad. So basically, the Safari Zone, you are limited on everything. You are limited on how many steps you take, and you're limited on how many Safari Balls you have. You start out with 30 Safari Balls, and that's about as much as you can get. You don't send out your Pokemon at all in battle, you just simply go catch them. And like I said, you're limited on steps, which is kind of suckish for what we're actually here for. We're not here to catch Pokemon. Although I am slightly here to catch Pokemon. Another thing that's different, like I said, you'll send out your Pokemon, but you can throw bait, which uh, will make it easier to catch Pokemon by believing they also have a higher chance of escaping, or... No, wait, no, I'm sorry. Bait is to make the Pokemon stay and they don't run away. If you throw a rock, it makes it easier to catch a Pokemon, I believe. I don't know, I'm getting confused with one of them, but... It makes it easier to catch, but they have a higher chance of running away. By the way, they can run, and they're also hard to catch, because... Look at that Venonat, that Venonat's pissed. Alright, I'm just gonna cut away. But as soon as I said that, I catch that Venonat. Okay, but like I said, we are really limited on steps here, and I really want to cut out these battles, but it's gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna talk through most of them. 
we are very limited on uh, steps here, so I need to hurry up and like find what I need to find here. You can find rare Pokemon in here, but again, this is just a thing that I gotta hurry up and find. Not find, but hurry up and get through. I'm also looking for a very specific Pokemon here. So, yeah, that's another thing. Okay, you are not gonna be easy to catch. I'm wasting my time. Bye, Parasect. No one wants you. Oh, there's an item over there. I think that's the Leaf Stone. There's also an item over here. I'll be back to get these items one day. It's just that right now I'm kind of yeah, rushing so I can get through here. Hey, Execute! Can I catch you in one catch? Please. Wow, that was easy. By the way, um, if you haven't picked up that Pinsir or Dratini, in the game corner, you can actually find them here in the Safari Zone. The only problem is, they're both super hard to find. They're both super hard to find, and that's always a pain. The biggest pain of them all, though, is Chansey. Chansey is the biggest pain of the Safari Zone, and everyone who has played this game, even the originals, know the pain of finding Chansey. It's really dumb. It's it's hard to find, and to, to make matters worse, it's harder to catch. And I believe it almost always runs away from, from the fight, so that's even worse. Um, just want to point it out, do I need to go up or down? I think I need to go up. By the way, if you fish over there with the Super Rod, which is an item we're going to get later, you can find your teeny here. I think you also have a very very low chance of finding a uh, evolution. Uh, don't quote me on that. What's up, Rhyhorn? They're like in every safari zone ever. Not that Rhyhorn fled. What's this? Ooh, TM47, which is Steel Wing. That's good. That's good. Oh no, I still haven't found that Pokemon I'm looking for. I mean, I know I could go find it in a wild, but I uh, just. It's just easier right here, because I'm here and I can catch it. Okay, I think I'm almost there. Sup, Need Arena? Get in my ball! They always run away. And I'm not surprised! Really not surprised. Okay. Oh, let's see over here. What does this sign say? Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's boss gold teeth. They're around here somewhere. Ward offered contact the ward. Oh gee, well I better keep my eye look at, I better keep my eye out for that. Oh look, we found the gold teeth! Whoever placed this sign is a complete moron, by the way. Um, let's see. Ooh, TM32, which is double team. Nice. I'll probably teach that to someone. And with just about doing it, wow, I made it through that fast. Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach a secret house! Although I made a campaign for a grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our grand pre grand pain prize. Congratulations! You've won! And we get HMO3, which is Surf! I don't think we can use Surf yet, but just know. Yes, I know. Thank you. I'm so glad I rushed over here. Now I can find the Pokemon I was looking for. Actually, I don't think we can get out of here. So, I guess I'll be right back until I found the Pokemon I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, look at that! I found TM11 Stunny Day! That's actually gonna be useful to me. Because it's, it's, it's useful. I still haven't found what I'm looking for, by the way. I'm in the right area. I just need to find it. Oh, it's a Max Potion, not Leaf Stone. What was I thinking? There's that Leaf Stone. Then there's that Pokemon I'm looking for. Totuo! Yeah, that's right. I'm making this one my own. Let's see if I can catch it and it doesn't run away. Don't you run away, you spectacle Totuo, you. Get inside my Pokeball, Safari Ball, whatever. Come on now. I don't trust using the bait or the rock, just get inside the dang safari ball!
Alright, you wanna play this game? That's fine, I can just keep throwing balls all day! I wonder if there's like a lot of safari balls that are littered all over the place. Kinda wanna know that! There we go! Finally! We got a Doe Duo! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect! And, guess what? It's part of my team! In case it wasn't made obvious already. Yes, Doe Duo is part of my team! Yeah, I'm not regretting my choice at all. No, totally not. Anyways! That means I am opening up another nickname thing, and this time you guys get a little early. Er, sort of. You get like a little week early, I don't know. So! Uh, I'm trying to debate when this is going up. Alright, so, you got until the 24th of April to nickname this Doduo. You can leave the nickname in the comments below, send it to me on Twitter or Facebook, and yeah. That's all you need to know. Just give me any nickname you want in the comments below. How much time do I have left? Oh, I still have plenty of time. Yeah, I'm kind of done with this. One thing I forgot to mention is that Pinsir is exclusive to Leaf Green. If you're playing Fire Red, you will get a Pokemon called Scyther. But you can't evolve Scyther. It is for the same reason that you can't evolve Steelix. You need the item Metal Coat, and there's no way to get Metal Coat. I believe there's no way. I'm still not 100% sure that you can get Metal Coat in the main story. In the after in the after game you can, but in the main story you really can't. So if you want a Scizor, you're gonna have to find another vial. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to play either Ruby Sapphire or Emerald to get a Metal Coat there, slap it on that Scyther, and then trade it back to that one, or vice versa, whichever whichever comes first. It doesn't matter. All right. See you later, Hesitant Dragon. You're going back to my PC. Wow, I'm almost full on stuff. And because this Doe Duo is a little flyer, is a little flyer, it can actually learn fly. Even though it doesn't have wings. And it's really weird how it works, but ah, I'm just going to show you guys through. Uh, where? Oh, it's back up top, I believe. Yep, there it is. See, look at that. It can learn fly, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, what can we get rid of? Let's get rid of Fury Attack. <laughs> I don't like it. Slap that on top of that head, and we got ourselves a Doe Duo. Okay, so I'm gonna call this an episode. So. If you like what you see here, just slap that like button. Really like what you see here, just slap the subscribe button. I forgot to do something. Give the gold teeth back to the warden, and you'll get something special out of this. Thanks, son, you're a real lifesaver. No one could have understood a word that I said, not a one. It was too ashamed to, I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. And we get HMO4, which is strength. Which is uh, which allows you to move boulders. How convenient that we got. Oh, I only eat the soup to know it. Uh, and I don't like teaching HMs to my starter. But basically, if you move this rock, you'll get a rare candy out of that deal. So that's a uh, good reward. Uh, where what? Now where was I? Uh, yeah. If you like what you see, if you don't, if you really like what you hear, then slap that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, then blame yourself for listening to me. And on the next episode, we're gonna head back to Lavender Town, we're gonna start traveling down Route 12 and see what stuff we can get here, train up Doe Duo a bit, hopefully get her nickname by next week, and I'll see you guys next time. How does a bird with no wings fly? I don't know. You, you get until the 24th. The, the 24th of, Thurs of April, it's a Thursday, 5pm. Same thing. I'll see you guys next time. I'm on relaxing the ride. I get that. I'm on a relaxing ride with my bike with my girlfriend. Aren't you a little young to have a girlfriend? Not this. No! 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 <laughs> oh my soul! What point do you fly anymore? There it is. There's that wish. 
I hate Wish so freaking much.